Hello, Happy New Year everybody, 2020. Today it's Friday, the 3rd of January 2020, and it's the first video in English from our YouTube channel. I am Thekla Petridou, I'm a psychologist and an author, and every Friday I release a video in English on my YouTube channel. Today's theme, today's subject, is about people-pleasing. I received an email from a young lady who was asking me specifically what are the signs of someone being a people pleaser and if I am how can I reverse it how can I stop being a people pleaser what is a people pleaser it's something that uh, it, it explain it's a word people pleaser or people pleasing that it explains itself a people pleaser is somebody who has as first priority in his life to please others it's a person that is not driven by himself and his own um, values, his own um, uh, resolutions, his own ideas, but he's very fixated on pleasing people around them. Either these people are people he knows, she knows, or not. People pleasing is a situation, it's a condition. It's a condition that, that I have seen very often in the 20 years of my practice as a private psychologist in Cyprus. Too many people came to see me with signs of depression, anxiety, other um, psychological disorders or psychosomatic symptoms, and that the core of their problems was their people-pleasing, that they were brought up, and they, ma and they learned to live their life through pleasing other people. What are the signs uh, of somebody being a people pleaser? First of all, if you are a people pleaser, you agree with everyone. Whatever they tell you, whatever they ask you to do, you say yes. You are a yes man or a yes woman. Because what is top priority for you is to please other people. The second sign is that when you are a people pleaser, you feel responsible about how other people feel. It's good to have empathy. It's good to worry about causing trouble or um, bad feelings to other people, but it's the other end to feel responsible about everything going bang around you. To try and um, make a therapeutic hypothesis on this, it is very probable that an adult people pleaser was brought up in a household where the adults, his parents, her parents, or his or her caregivers were not taking responsibility of themselves. It was a parentified child or a child that was, uh, um, that was blamed for stuff that wasn't his or his, her fault. Usually, people pleasing goes hand by hand with condependency. Condependent people are people pleasers. And they go to great extremes in order to please their oppressors usually, or their next of kin, or people around them. The third sign of people pleasing, of being a people pleaser, is that you apologize often. You feel the innate need to apologize about everything. I'm sorry I didn't make it to your birthday party. I'm sorry I'm three minutes late. I'm sorry about this. I'm sorry about that. People pleasers also feel burdened by the things they have to do. People pleasers do not enjoy their lives because they make decisions on how they will live their life not based on their needs and admirations and hopes and uh, wishes, but based on what they think other people want of them or, or based on what other people tell them exactly that they want of them. Because um, the classical, the textbook ple People Pleaser um, revise, in, revises in, in herself, in himself, and thinks, what might make Thekla happy? That thing, I will do it, even without being told to do it. Um, and because uh, people pleasers choose their chores out of need to please others and not for themselves, 
they do not like their chores. So they feel very burdened by what they have to do because they have a schedule full with chores and errands they run for others and their time is so limited to doing things for other people and not for themselves. People pleasers of course cannot say no. Whatever you ask them they will say yes. Are you bake a birthday party for my um, a birthday cake for my child's birthday party? Yes of course. Can you babysit for me? Yes of course. Can you lend me some money? Yes of course. Can you give me a ride? Yes of course. And people pleaser feel very uncomfortable when someone is angry at them. They want everybody pleased. So if somebody is angry with them, they can't stand it. They feel devastated. If you are a normal person, if you are um, not normal, if you are not a people pleaser, okay, because people pleasers are normal people who have this ailment, which uh, uh, we will try to give some advice uh, further how to overcome it. Um, if you are not a people pleaser, you don't mind if somebody is angry with you because you said no about something you cannot do. You might be happy that certain people are angry with you because you understand that not everybody can agree with us. And some people might be different with, from us. And if we do not succumb to their desires or their um, orders, they might be angry with us. And it's okay. It's okay for somebody to feel angry with us. But people, please, cannot stand this. Um, and people pleasers also mimic people around them. Uh, they change their taste. They do not know what kind of music they like because every time they are around other people, they listen to their music. Or they do not know what kind of food they like or, or that flavors are, are good to them because every time they eat everything that other people like. And people pleasers, ple people pleasers usually reply like this, would you like to go out tonight? The people pleaser you ask, will ask you back, would you like to go out tonight? They do not have their own wish. They do not care if they wish to go out or not. If you wish to go out, they will come with you. If you do not wish to go out, they will not come with you. They will not go out. They will do everything to please you. So be people pleasers are so fixated on making other people happy that they they uh, left themselves feeling bad, really bad. And because they feel bad about themselves, they need praise in order to feel good. They do things for you and you they want you to go and tell them, thank you, that was beautiful, that was so kind of you. They cannot live without praise because their self-esteem is so low. And this is one of the basic reasons why people become uh, people pleasers, because they want their self-esteem to rise. But in a harmful matter because it's harmful for ourselves to do anything to please others. And of course, people pleasers go to any lengths to avoid conflict. It's one thing to say, I will not engage in conflict, unnecessary conflict. It's a good decision for everybody not to fight unnecessarily. But people pleasers, they will not fight with you no matter what you tell them, no matter how you treat them. They'll go to any lengths to avoid conflict because their ego is so um, fragile, their self-esteem is so low that they cannot stand conflict. And, of course, people pleasers, they do not admit their, f their own feelings. They feel sad, but they do not admit that they feel sad. They feel angry, but they do not show that they feel angry. People pleasers are people who shut their emotions down they shovel them down and they do not um, allow themselves to feel any negative or positive feelings that will not be uh, approved by their surround. So these are the signs or some of the signs of uh, being a people pleaser. So my friend, the one who sent the letter, if you found yourself uh, answering, yes, that's me, in most of these questions, most probably you are a people pleaser. How do you change that? Because um, it is important to have some strategy to act on in order to help yourself overcome this ailment. It's an ailment. 
it's a big difficulty. And I'm talking um, not only as a psychologist, but as a person who used to be a used to be a people pleaser in the past, and sometimes even now I become a people pleaser as well. So how do we reverse this? First of all, we realize that we are people pleasers. It's very important to allow ourselves to see ourselves the way we are. It's not of any benefit to tell ourselves lies, that I'm not a people pleaser, I'm okay, I don't have this problem, I don't have this ailment. We need to realize that we are people pleasers and realize that we have a choice to change this. I have a choice to start having everybody else's happiness a priority. I can stop being a subdominal person. I can stop being, I can stop being everybody's servant. I can start looking out for myself, not only for other people. And in order to do that, we need to set our priorities. Sit down, take a pen and paper, or write on your, um, on your mobile phone, your priorities. What's your priorities in life? What's more important for you? Your health, your uh, psychological health, your physical health, um, is it your husband, your wife, yourself, is yourself a priority in your life, is your family a prior priority, is your free time a priority, prioritize, prioritize, prioritize. If you do not set priorities, then you will lose yourself and lose what's important for you in your um, uh, frantic efforts to please other people. A very effective strategy to stop being a people pleaser is not to answer right away when uh, the people we try to please asks us, ask us for favors. If somebody tells you, could you, please do, could, could you please do this for me? Do not answer right away. Say, can I, can I have five minutes to think about it? Do not answer right away because if you are a people pleaser you will answer right away yes of course and you cannot take yes back if the other person insists on taking on getting an immediate response you can answer no no since you want to, to tell me to tell you right now no i can't because you can take no back but yes you cannot take back or, uh, since you are a responsible person and you want to be good good person with ethics if you promise somebody to do something then you need to do it so it's better to say no stall take your time a people pleaser will promptly say yes so by by um, uh, pushing yourself to not answer directly you give yourself some time in order to ask some questions to yourself what is this person asking for? Is, this, is it something that it's good for me to do? Is this going to be stressful for me? Do I have the time to do this? What am I going to give up in order to do this? Am I going to give up my sleep? Am I going to give up my free time? Uh, how pressured am I going to be? If I say yes and I do this, am I gonna upset am I gonna be upset afterwards with the person asking? You understand that stop being a people pleaser is being able to say no, no, no. And if you say yes, set a time limit. Yes, I can do this, but I can do this at that time. From ten to twelve, from two to four, I cannot be all day available for you. And if you have people around you asking you several for several favors, consider whether you're being manipulated. Because uh, people pleasers, uh, condependent people, usually are surrounded by people who take advantage of them, take advantage of their time, take advantage of their, um, uh, of their people pleasiness. And the people pleasers usually get manipulated by others. 
in order to help yourself say no, you might uh, create a word or an image in your brain when somebody asks you for a favor, maybe it can be a, a, a huge sign, a no, no, in neon lights that you, you see in your mind. No, no. We need to become no people. All of us were yes people, yes men, yes women. We need to become no people, no men, no women, no. You can recite no many times during the day. You can say no. <laughs> you can say no in your sleep. Or you can say a mantra. I don't know, something like, something that makes you feel okay. Like, I have decided to stop being a people pleaser and start saying no. That's a nice mantra. I have decided to stop being a people pleaser and start saying no. And when you say no, say that with conviction. Say no, no, full stop, nothing else. You do not need to say a huge load of excuses because once you start saying excuses then you show vulnerability to the aggressor or the person who tries to manipulate you and then you open a back door to make you say yes and when you say no you don't have to to do that in a harsh way you don't have to do it in a way that is not gentle you can be assertive with empathy. There is this term that I found out about reading about people pleasingness, which is called empathic assertion. Empathic assertion. I ask for sorry for my my accent in English. You, if this is not the first video you watch, you already know that I'm not a native uh, English speaker. I speak English as a secondary language. Uh, I'm Greek, and Greek is my is the language I'm, I'm more fluent to. Um, empathic assertion. I say no, but at the same time, I show empathy. For example, I understand where you come from. I can understand how you feel. I understand uh, what you need, but I'm sorry, I cannot do that. It's a no. Okay, you don't have to be um, brutal or being um, uh, harsh, assertive. Assertive with empathy. Empathic assertion. It's difficult to break the, part, the pattern of being a people pleaser. I deal with it. I try to deal with it in my personal life in the last 20 years. To, I try to stop being a people pleaser. I think I'm at a good point in my life. I haven't, I haven't got there yet, not yet, because um, if you're Greek of Greek origin and you watch my channel, my my web channel, my YouTube channel, uh, my Greek videos on my YouTube channel, you would see that once in a while I make uh, a, a video blog, where I set rules and boundaries in the channel about what I can and what I can't do, because me being a people pleaser. Me being brought up as a people pleaser gives me difficulty to say no and I need to set boundaries again and again and again. It's an, on it's an ongoing process, but it's worth it. It's worth it because your health gets much better when you stop being a people pleaser. Your physical health, your emotional health, your psychological health, you have more time for yourself. You are being more polite to other people and, and you're being nicer to other people because being a people pleaser means that you do a lot of things that you do not want to do and you feel pressurized and you feel better burdened and then you have outbursts of anger and all these things go away when you learn to say no. There are books about this. Huh? I think there is a literary books th that the title says how to say no. So. I hope that this video has been uh, helpful or interesting at least. If you liked it, please uh, press like, comment, share with your friends. And every Friday at 1 p.m. Uh, Cyprus time or Gre Greece time, Athens time, a new video in English will be uplo uploaded on my YouTube channel. Thank you. Bye.